I've had different superhero experiences all my life. First was the Man of Steel, Superman. My mom told me about him and how I should be like him. Always go for good and justice. She would buy me Superman shirts and even my first action figure, Kenner Superpowers Superman. I grew out of Superman and later in the 90s, Jim Lee was drawing the X-Men comic book and trading cards. My best friend and I collected the entire set along with the 1992 Marvel Universe cards. The X-Men cards still hold up to this day. I have them all right here and even though these aren't my originals, I still had to get them back in my life. The X-Men cards featured heroes, villains, and teams, not to mention a puzzle sheet and the elusive holograms. This was my first introduction to Wolverine. He had the brown suit and the claws and that stuff just caught my attention. But my best friend, he was a Gambit fan. And even though we were fans of the cards and the comics, we weren't ready for what was about to come out and launch our X-Men into the stratosphere. Fox released the X-Men cartoon and every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. we would watch that week's episode before going outside to play in the canyon that was next to my backyard. After X-Men, I got into Robin and DC Comics and eventually my love for Wolverine would come back. And that's who I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the first appearance of the man that was once called Weapon X. I have three favorite X-Men, Jubilee, Nightcrawler, and Wolverine. When my dad was in the Navy, a fellow shipmate had comics he was selling. My dad bought them and gave them to my brother and I. And that box contained this comic. Well, it's a graphic novel. It's actually The Incredible Hulk number 180 and 181, the first appearance of Wolverine. The Incredible Hulk 180 is mainly about the Hulk fighting Wendigo, a Sasquatch type monster who is really a cursed man. The last panel reveals Wolverine. The next issue concentrates more on the fight between the three and we find out that Wolverine was deployed by Canada to defeat the Hulk. And the fight just kind of ends when Wendigo's sister just puts the Hulk and Wolverine to sleep. Now, how about those Marvel Legends figures? X-Men! X-Men! The box is standard, but has the comic book cover on the back and not the standard go-to that Hasbro has done with the Lightning Collection. I mean, you already know what figure you bought. It's a window box. This box also has some comic art on the sides. Kudos on that. 1974 Wolverine and the Incredible Hulk are really well done. Although I do wish that Wolvie had the white eyes, but we do see those baby blues in one panel of the comic, so it passes. He gets the same claws as most Wolverines from Marvel Legends, instead of those more stout ones that he gets in the comic book. To some people, he's goofy looking, but what do you expect? They can't all be like Spidey and get it right the first time around. Look at Batsy's purple gloves. This version of Logan is a great Wolverine to have. And if you don't really want his claws out, he does come with spare hands that have no claws. Although, we don't really get to see that in the comic. This version of Logan is a great Wolverine to have if you're a die-hard fan. And the Hulk? Let's just say that before I got this set, the Hulk wasn't even on my radar. I didn't really care for him. This guy right here is a beast and worthy of the name 
the Incredible Hulk. When I took him out of the packaging, I couldn't stop being amazed at the sight and just the magnificence of the angry green giant. That's right, Giant is correct. He towers over Wolverine. He towers over all my Marvel Legends figures. He's a hefty fellow, and I could go on about his size, but the paint job on him is magnifique. Look at that face. It's like he jumped right out of the comic book pages. His articulation is great, and you can put him in very dynamic poses. This two-pack is a must-have for Wolverine and Hulk fans alike. It's two classic heroes in one pack. And this set is totally worthy of the name Marvel Legends. I hope you enjoyed this look at Marvel Legends Wolverine vs. The Incredible Hulk 2-Pack and stay tuned for more videos. Nakashi Man!